Greetings, Olive family, and welcome to our home. We're delighted to be in your home tonight in this evening that we call Home for Christmas. Uh, we're here and we're getting ready and decorating and uh, looking forward to a marvelous season. And I wanted to give just a brief challenge to you tonight as we uh, get ready to invite our neighbors to join us for all of the Christmas activities at the place called Olive. Well, we've got our mantle ready and everything is a go. And there's one piece that I've added to this year's Christmas behind me is a clock. It's my father's clock, uh, usually set on the mantle at his home. And uh, I just brought it in tonight because I want to use it in our devotional time for just a moment this evening. If you've got your Bible, I want to encourage you as I find a seat here that you would look in Matthew's Gospel and we're in the second chapter, and when we read there, we find these words in Matthew chapter 2. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east, and have come to worship him. It's the star that I want us to think about tonight. Four times in this chapter, we find the word star. When you go down to verse number seven, Herod secretly called the Magi and determined from them the exact time the star appeared. He asked the question, what time did you see the star? In other words, to the wise men, what time is it? And he sent them on to Bethlehem and said, Go search carefully for the child, and when you have found him, report to me so that I too may come and worship him. Of course, we know that Herod was not going to worship. He had other things in his mind, and the wise men were wise to Herod. But think of the star this night and how that star was guiding them. And I ask you, what time is it in your life? Christmas brings us to three things in this passage. Number one, it's time to bow down. When the Magi found the Christ child, they came to worship. Tonight, I want to encourage you in your home that you would pray, maybe bow down, worship, uh, that you would pray around the family circle and have a time of worship. The star points us to a time of bowing down. Secondly, when we read in this text, we know it's time to look up because the star was guiding the wise men. Which way should they go? Which way should you go at the end of this year and into 2020? What's next in your family, in your life? You together, look up to heaven. Look to the star of God, God's guidance in your life. And then thirdly, this text tells us that not only is it time to bow down, not only time to look up, but it is time to reach out. The star led them to the manger, and they followed the star. Tonight, I want to encourage you, after your time of bowing down, after your time of uh, looking up together, I want to encourage you that you take some of those invitation guides and you reach out to your neighbors. Go knock on a door and say, come and join us at our Christmas music presentation. Come and join us at Christmas Eve. Come and join us the last Sunday of the year. It is time. The star always has us going to others. On a journey, we take the gospel to our neighbors all around us. In our home this year, it's a little different. For the first time, my dad is not here. He was often center stage in that time. So for us, we have to bow down and find the comfort of God. Maybe in your home you're missing someone this year. Let God be the one that comforts you. It's always time to look up because we've got things to do this year that we've never done before. It's a new time. And so we look for the guidance of the Lord. And then together our family will join hands and out the door we'll go and the star will lead us to reach out to our neighbors. God bless you and your home for Christmas time tonight. Thanks for joining me, for coming into our home for just a moment. And I encourage you, follow the star that points us to Jesus. After all, he's the star of this whole thing called Christmas.